what is up guys the prince of random charles bettis is back at it again here with another yet again video today we're going to be doing some reaction videos on youtube bruh what <coughs> sick Wow, um, hi, hi. Oh, I don't know. Watch well, this eight gold sister half a week. That makes zero sense. I don't know what that means. <laughs> that would be freaking awesome. What the f Occasionally, the quest for justice results in a bizarrely long prison sentence. Sometimes, these punishments are handed down to ensure the criminal can never be considered for a parole or early release. But those are obstacles that can't always be avoided. Moreover, even in that light, you might find the world's longest prison sentences to be a little extreme. The United States has more people incarcerated than any other country on Earth. That includes China, which has four times the population of the U.S. and its own reputation for being heavy-handed with criminal prosecution. Yet the world's <coughs> longest prison sentence was handed down not in the U.S., but in Thailand. In 1989, Chamoy Fipyaso was given a whopping 141,078 years for... Co Hold up. Why? How? You would have to kill the freaking president of the United States of freaking America to get that many fucking years in a sentence. Bruh, like, what the f- Corporate fraud. This white-collar criminal defrauded 16,000 people in a pyramid scheme which netted her over $2 million. Years for corporate fraud. This white collar criminal defrauded 16,000 people in a pyramid scheme which netted her over $2 million. In Spain, a single murder generally can only <coughs> carry a 40 year sentence. However, if you happen to murder 192 people, it adds up rather quickly. In 2007, Otman El Gnawi and Jamal Zalgam were given almost 43,000 years apiece for protection. Look at this guy, like, I was like, what's up, bro? This guy doesn't know, like, what, bro? I'm just trying to walk here. Participating in the Madrid train bombings in Spain, which killed 192 people and injured 2,000. Emiru Suarez Sazhoras was given a slightly lesser sentence of over 34,000 years. Another 18 suspects were given lesser sentences. Many sources repeatedly describe the attack <coughs> as an Al-Qaeda operation. However, no direct connection between the bombers and the terrorist organization has ever been established. Charles Scott Robinson bears the dubious distinction. No. Okay. Oh my god, dang. I'm posting this video either way, but like... Just like, cross this name right here out, like, right there. This area. Straight down there. Just call him Scott, right? And then like <sighs> If you got a real Bravo <laughs> It's like um the guy version of Jennifer Gordy <laughs> Oh 
Oh. Of having received the longest prison sentence in the United <laughs> States in 1994. In That's creepy. Alright, I have to give this guy props. Sexually assaulting six children. Life without parole was off the table, so jerk. Bruh. From your ready to me as a freaking pervert from now on. If someone, if any of you guys fucking make fun of me, I will kill you. Did the next best thing and recommended 5,000 years for each assault. The court accepted the recommendation and further concluded the sentences would be served consecutively rather than concurrently. The result is a sentence of 30,000 years. Robinson does not have the possibility for parole, but his first opportunity won't happen until he's 108. In 1993 in Oklahoma, Alan Wayne McLaurin and Darren Benelford Anderson were sentenced to a total of over 6,000 years for rape, sodomy, assault, burglary, robbery, and larceny. They appealed, and the conviction was reversed. A second trial also found them guilty. This time, however, the jury was in an even more punitive mood. Anderson was sentenced to over 11,000 years, and McLaurin received <laughs> over 21,000 years, putting him on the top 10 list. Guess they should have kept their mouth. Shut. On Halloween in 1976, Dudley Wayne Kaiser murdered his estranged wife, her mother, and a college student who had the bad luck of being at home when Kaiser arrived and shot all three. The jury deliberated less than an hour before sentencing him to death. However, Alabama later ruled death sentences to be unconstitutional, and Kaiser was granted a new trial. This time, he was given 10,000 years plus two life sentences. <laughs> Despite the lengthy sentence, he qualified Listen, for a parole consideration me. after serving 10 okay. years. So far, He's been denied ten times. In 1996, Martin Bryant perpetrated the Port Arthur Massacre in Australia, which killed 30... Wow. This one's going to be produced by Hellbent, HB. This one will work. <coughs> Hellbent. From the conspiracy of left-handed presidents to a taxi driver who killed two brothers in two separate incidents, we count 15 weird coincidences that actually happened. Number 15. Two falling babies saved by the same man. In 1937, a young, super responsible Detroit mother somehow dropped her <coughs> baby out of a fourth story building. A local street sweeper named Yosef Figlock happened to be walking underneath at the same time and was struck in the head and the shoulders by the falling infant. Miraculously, the baby lived, though he and Figlock sustained injuries. The following year, a different, though equally careless mother allowed her two year old son, David Thomas, to plummet from a high rise window. Joseph Figlock, who was sweeping in an alley trying to make his beautiful city shine, was again struck in the head and again neither he nor the child were killed. Must have been quite a catch, this Figlock character. Women can't seem to help throwing their children at him. Number 14. Left-handed president's conspiracy. Only about 10% of the U.S. population are left-handed, but you'd never know it by looking at the American presidents. More than half of the last 14 presidents were lefties, including five of the last seven. What's especially interesting about this is that during the 18th and 19th centuries, left-handedness was considered a punishable disability. Kids were actually forced to be right-handed until the 1970s, so it would have been very difficult for many of these presidents to excel with this setback. Will you vote for a lefty in the next election? <laughs> you may not have a choice. Over the past two decades, nearly every presidential candidate has been left-handed. In 2008, both oh, Barack man. Obama and John Same. McCain were left-handed. And in 1992, all three candidates for president were lefties. It's been speculated that these left-handed monsters are actually a super secret race who rule over the other 90% of society. Certainly would explain a few things, like why the flusher on the toilet's always on the left side. Then when you sit down, the toilet paper's on your left side again. No wonder so many presidents are left-handed. They save so much time in the bathroom. Number 13. 
Hugh Williams, professional shipwreck survivor. Planning an ocean voyage anytime soon? Here's a fun <laughs> fact, there have been millions of shipwreck casualties throughout history. However, if your name is Hugh Williams, you can sleep easy knowing nothing in Neptune's ocean can possibly harm you. Check this, in 1660, a ship sank in the Dover Straits. A man named Hugh Williams was the only survivor. In 1767, a second ship sank in the same area. The only survivor was another Hugh Williams. In 1820, a ship capsized on the Thames. The only survivor was a man named Bruce Hancock. Just kidding, he died. It was Hugh Williams. Finally, in 1940, a ship was destroyed by a German mine. Only two survived, a man and his nephew, both named QX Files Music, Hugh Williams. Number 12, <laughs> Deus Ex Twin Towers Omen. How is this for a spooky omen? During the production of the critically acclaimed 2000 PC game Deus Ex, the Skybox artist neglected to include the Twin Towers to the New York City skyline. Some reports say he plain forgot, or according to another explanation, memory constraints made it impossible to render the towers, <laughs> so they had to be written out of the game's fiction. Now what really seals this as fucking creepy is that the in-game explanation for the discrepancy was a terrorist attack. Unless the developers had a crystal ball, there's no way they could have known how prescient this detail was. Number 11. Brotherly Moped Suicide Pact. In 1975, while riding a moped in Bermuda, a man was accidentally struck and killed by a taxi. Fortunately, it taught the world a lesson about how dangerous mopeds are and no one ever rode one again. Just kidding. A year later, the man's brother was killed the very same way. He was even riding the same moped, which they'd presumably just finished repairing. And in case your jaw has a little bit more room to drop, the brother was struck by the very same taxi driven by the same driver. Nope, not finished yet. He was even carrying the same passenger. Number 10. John F. Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln coincidences. America's most beloved presidents had a whole laundry list of things in common. It actually transitions from cool to creepy after about the fifth one. Maybe they had the same stylus and he was a time lord. I don't know how else to account for some of these. Firstly, Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846, while John F. Kennedy was elected a century to the year. Lincoln won his election in 1860, with his inauguration being held in 1861, while Kennedy won his election in 1960, with his inauguration following early 1961. Both were shot in the back of the head in front of their wives on a Friday, and Lincoln was shot in Ford's theater while Kennedy was shot in a Lincoln which was made this by Ford. Shot in the back. And the creepiest coincidence of all, Lincoln and Kennedy both have seven letters in their name. What? That one's lame. You're lame. Mm. Number nine, mm. Franz Ferdinand's assassination omen. Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria was assassinated in a car that had a license plate that read AIII-118. This is remarkable because the war that resulted from this act ended with an armistice on the 11th of November 1918. Effectively, the plate was coded like a premonition. A for armistice, 11 11 18. Spooky. <coughs> Number 8. Message in a bottle face off. In 2006, fisherman Mark Anderson, who was manning the fishing boat Copious, found a 92 year old message in a bottle. The discovery landed him a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the oldest message in a bottle ever recovered. Being a fisherman, Anderson enjoyed bragging to his friend Andrew Lepper about his new find. Lepper quickly tired of Anderson's bragging and probably wanted to shove the bottle where the sun doesn't shine. Six years later, while manning the copious off the Scottish coast, skipper Andrew Lepper won up the braggart Anderson. <laughs> by finding his own message in a bottle. This time, one that had floated aimlessly at sea for an incredible 98 years. Leopard then took Anderson's spot in the record book, leaving Anderson with much less to brag about. Number 7. James Dean's Car Cruise. In 1955, Hollywood heartthrob and causeless rebel James Dean was killed in a horrific car accident while driving around in his Porsche. The car was later considered to be a bad luck omen. Case in point, when the car was towed from the accident and taken to a garage, the engine slipped out onto a mechanic, shattering both of his legs. The engine was eventually bought by a wealthy doctor who used it to soup up his racing car. He died shortly after during a race. Another driver died in the very same race and his car had James Dean's drive shaft fitted into it. The garage where Dean's Porsche was repaired was later destroyed by a fire. The car was then displayed in Sacramento but somehow fell off its mount breaking a teenager's hip. In Oregon, the trailer the Porsche was mounted on slipped from its tow bar, smashing into his shop front. Finally, in 1959, the car mysteriously broke into 11 pieces while sitting on steel supports. So, who wants to buy a piece of James Dean's car on eBay? I'm sure you'll find a fair <coughs> price. I mean, what could go wrong? Number 6. 
King Umberto's Double, the classic doppelganger story. In Monza, Italy, King Umberto I felt like hitting up a restaurant in town for dinner. Accompanied by his general aide, he found one that fit the bill. But when the owner of the restaurant took his order, the king noticed that they were virtual doubles in face and build. They began discussing the striking resemblance and discovered many more similarities. Both men were born on the same day of the same year in the same town. Each married a woman named Margarita, and the restaurateur opened his restaurant on the same day that King Umberto was crowned King of Italy. On the 29th of July 1900, King Umberto was informed that the restaurateur had died that day from a mysterious shooting accident. No. While mourning this loss, the king was then assassinated by an anarchist in the crowd. Answer this. Hello, hello, my name is Casey Cook. I've been abducted with two other girls. There's a man here. He's got multiple personalities. Please, somebody save us. I was sent to get you for a reason. We have to get out of here. <laughs> Someone's coming for you. Who's coming? You're not gonna like it. Split rate PC 13. My name is Joshua. And I will be attempting a hundred different voice impressions. Well, it might be a little bit over a hundred because I kind of <laughs> suck at math. Some of the voices I think are actually kind of good. And then there's a few that are kind of just borderline, maybe good, maybe bad, depending on your opinion. And then there's probably a lot that just flat out suck. Oh yes, and I also have to warn you that I've been coughing like for six weeks straight now. <coughs> I'm probably dying. So my voice is probably going to be cracking a lot, so I'll just be cutting like constantly and stuff. I'll cut out all the uh, coughing so I don't annoy you with all my... <coughs> oh god, I'm dying. <coughs> Not really, I'm fine. But seriously, the cough won't go away. I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm... <laughs> Here we go. 100 voice impressions in 6 minutes. This counts as one of them. It's a me, Mario. Yahoo! It's a me, Luigi. Wah! It's a me, Waluigi. I'm a gonna win. It's a me, Wario. Why are we all sound the same? Mario! Bullwinkle J. Moose here from the Rocky and Bullwinkle Show. Hi! My name is Fred Fredberger, and I can spell it really, really good. F R E D B U R G E R. You're despicable. Ruh -ruh. <laughs> I still be you. <laughs> Bullwinkle J. Moose here from the Rocky and Bullwinkle Show. <laughs> My name is Fred Fredberger, and I can spell it really, really good. F R E D B U R G E R. You're despicable. Ruh -ruh. I still be you. Where are you? Hey, Mac, what does this button do? Oh, you're gonna get us all killed! No. Let's all make up and have a nice big hug! Worst comic book guy impression ever! Smithers, I don't believe in suicide, but okay. if you were to try it right now, it might cheer me up to watch. Giggity. Giggity. <laughs> Alright! For the latest man to die in our town, Lord, hear our prayer. <laughs> uh, oh, you must have the process. Oh, you need the process. Prepare to die, Spider-Man! Suffer and fuck a tash! <laughs> well, I do say... <laughs> oh! The things I do for love! Muriel! That's pretty good. Art, art, parcel! Ash, that's a fire-type Pokemon. They're weak against water types. Why does everyone always talk in third person? That's true. Oh, sh okay. I know I've been saying in my other videos, I'm gonna leave some stupid links in the description, but I keep forgetting to. This time I am, but there's gonna be a link to down below to this freaking hilarious 911 call that this freaking turd up here does it. Did you finish your paperwork yet? Come on. Even that person's better looking than freaking Jennifer Gordon. Uh, guys, we gotta get out of here right now. Cookie Monster, what cookies? Sugar free cookies. 
Cookie Monster going on diet. Right on, man. Taking all the jellies. Oh, Perry the Platypus. There you are. I come over the house. Oh, no. What are we going to do? <laughs> oh, all the pain and the algaes. Freaking idiot. Toss. Oh, yeah, that was... Oh, freaking what was that movie? Napoleon Dynamite. Oh, my toes, man. Damn. Oh, shit. Oh, man. They're great. Oh, King Julian. I want <coughs> to touch your feet now. Ah, Banjo. Yahoo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Long ago, I used to be human. Yeah, peace. Oh yeah! Long ago, I used to be Oscar Mario. Human. What? Trust the shark. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. Bye, bubbles. Oh, he sure is a zippity doo da bay. I just sure hope that Brad Fox doesn't get me. I'm gonna get that Brad Rabbit and I'm gonna cook him up. Oh, where's the laughing place? Ah, Mickey! <laughs> That's a nice little muscle throw. I wonder how we got there. Are you never <coughs> gonna catch me? Dude, he made me experience high tide! Oh. I hate every one of them. The whole Christmas season is disgusting. So I'll steal their presents. The friend tells me that you like children. Oh, wait a minute. That doesn't sound right. I hope you do you like children on the good world. Hercules, Hercules! What's wrong with you? Let's just settle down and get to eat. Come on, Daddy. There's nothing wrong with talking or just saying grace before a meal. Well, I just graced my bloomers. So you got about 20 seconds left of pure oxygen. Okay. I'll tell you. <coughs> do you know the Muffin Man? Humpty. Dumpty. Set on a wall. Come on, Shrek! What are you doing? Seriously, what are you doing? Oh, look at me! la di da di da No! Bruce, get him off the set! Come on, Bruce, get him off the- Did anyone notice that dang Barbie right there? Think about it. It's just like... Just follow the M or the T. Just T-E-M-P-E-R-T-A-T-A-R-U. Set! I love you! There is no good news or bad news. Just news. I'm not dying, you idiot. I'm... I'm simply at peace. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess. Unfortunately, she died. The end. We're not a bit. <coughs> oh my god. What time? There's a beautiful princess. Unfortunately, she died. We're going on a baby hunt. We're going on a baby hunt. Don't think we don't know how to weed them out. Baby hunt. And don't think we don't know how to weed them out. You got a friend <coughs> in me. Hi, Kermit the Frog here. Oh, Kermit. Yes, Miss Piggy? Tell me how pretty I am, Kermit. You're as close as it comes to perfect, Miss Piggy. As close as it comes? No. Nope. Kermit! God, so the great will fly again. <laughs> I'm a talking rat. What's not to love? Jobs! I don't want to be a burden. I told you nothing good would come from shitty folks in their flying machines. I'm ready. Promotion. I'm <laughs> ready. Yeah. Very hey, Yogi. <laughs> isn't it illegal to steal other people's food? Hey, boo, boo We're bears. We don't know any better. Only you can prevent. This is my family. I found them. Put her down, Joker. Why so serious? Well, perhaps he's wondering why someone would shoot him out before throwing him out of a plane. Oh my glop. Oh my glop. Oh my glop. Oh my glop. I'm so loving awesome. I'm a buff baby that can dance like a man. I can shake him off any, I can shake him I can. 
I'm a tough tune, baby. I'm a punch all your buns. I'm a punch all your buns. I'm a punch all your buns. If you're an evil witch, I will punch you for fun. <laughs> There's something about it I was going to say. <laughs> My name is Joshua. And I will be attempting a hundred different voice impressions. And there's probably for six weeks.
video games has become one of the most popular pastimes in the world, and game developers always make sure to keep things interesting by including secrets. While most secrets are revealed within days of a game's release, there are some that manage to stay under wraps for a long time. Here are 10 video game <coughs> easter eggs that took years to find. Before we hit that start button, subscribe to The Richest and be the first to know when a new video is out. Batman Arkham City Developed by Rocksteady, Batman <coughs> Arkham City had an easter egg that took three years to find, which is spectacular in the modern gaming world. The villain Calendar Man already had quips and one-liners for the holidays and such. But if you set your console's calendar to December 13th, 2004, Calendar Man will utter a phrase that is a nod to the day that Rocksteady was formed, and gave a hint to the next game after Arkham City. Splinter Cell Double Agent Splinter Cell Double Agent was released in 2006, but its easter egg wasn't discovered until 2010. But gamers can't take credit for its discovery as the game's developer Ubisoft spilled the beans. The game developer released a statement on how to unlock a special baby seal rescue mission which is found in co-op mode. The player must complete bizarre tasks like finding certain coins in the right order to use in vending machines to rescue five seals and all are wearing party hats. Super Smash Bros. Melee. It took seven Melee. years to find, and it has been Melee? called an accident as well as the ultimate trolling act by Nintendo. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, there is a way to play without ever selecting a character. Nintendo claimed this was a glitch in the game. If you erased all your friends' names in the game and unlocked a secret single-player mode, this results in being alone in the game's universe, but it also unlocks the ultimate boss, ironically called the Master Hand. Halo 3 Halo 3 was released in 2007, and gamers were confident that all the easter eggs had been found. However, in 2012, an engineer for the game revealed that there was still one more easter egg that hadn't been found yet. It wouldn't be until 2014 <coughs> that it would be discovered. On December 25th, or if you set your Xbox to December 25th, press down both thumbsticks on the game's loading screen, and it will give you a wider look of the Halo ring, where you will see a message that says, Happy Birthday, Lauren! which is a nod to the wife of Bungie employee, Adrian Perez. Wave Race, Blue Storm. Most players that? knew about the secret menu in Nintendo's Wave Race Blue Storm, but many didn't know that there was an alternate announcer voice that replaced the original announcer. The genius of the alternate announcer was that he was monotone and extremely sarcastic. To access this sarcastic announcer with a major attitude problem, the player must enter a modified version of the Konami code after holding down Z so that the waves turn into rising fog in the sound menu. It sounds ridiculous <coughs> and complicated, but it works. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past In 1990, Nintendo Power Magazine ran a contest to see which reader would have their name included in the upcoming game The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. But at the time of the contest, readers didn't know which game it was for, which is probably why this easter egg stayed hidden for over a decade. Chris Houlihan was the winner of the contest, but the location of his room was so complicated to find that it seemed to disappear into obscurity. It wasn't until the 2000s when the room was finally discovered and gamers realized that they either had to glitch Link's location to get there or get the Pegasus boots, rush through 10 specific screens, and then reaching a hidden bush inside the castle walls, all the while not getting hurt. Final Fantasy IX 13 years after Final Fantasy IX was released, and given how popular the game was, it is shocking that it took this long. Players noticed that there seemed to be worthless dialogue with some characters called the Nero Brothers about nine important events in the game. If the player had the patience to go through all the dialogue, they would unearth even more dialogue and a side quest. But after it was all over, the player is rewarded with a protection. <laughs> ring. Serious Sam, The First Encounter Serious Sam The First Encounter was first released in 2001, and this easter egg took 14 years to find. When a Serious Sam fan only known as Soleus Yose got no. a job with the game's developer Crow Team, he asked the CEO Roman Rabaric if there were any secrets to the game. The CEO revealed that there was an extra secret in the game's secret level, and that it was possible to play the level without having to face any enemies through a speedrun. 
GoldenEye 007 GoldenEye 007 was one of the most popular games for Nintendo 64, but many players didn't realize that there were multiple games within the one game. The game was made with the ZX Spectrum emulator <coughs> inside of it, which contained 10 additional rare games. But if sticking with 007 is your preference, there was also an island you could access by just walking on water called Dam Island or the Citadel. For the sake of time, game developers didn't erase the island, but instead the boat that could take you there, not realizing that the player could still access the island. Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! Mike Tyson's Punch-Out! was released by Nintendo in 1987, but it wasn't until 2009 when the president of the company, Satoru Iwata, revealed a key easter egg. While fighting an opponent named Bad Bull, the common strategy to beat him was to interrupt his move called a bull charge by punching him after the third hop. If you didn't do this, the bull charge would kill you. However, Iwata revealed that if you watch the audience during the fight, a flash will go off. After the flash, punch Bad Bull and and you'll win the match. Game over. If you like this video, tell us in the comments and be sure to give us a like. Please check out these other videos from the riches that you might enjoy. Thanks for watching. Alright guys, that is it for today. I hope you guys had a low bu I hope you guys have a fantastic day. It's approximately 3.01 in the morning on Christmas Day. So, yeah. Thanks for being here. And have a great Christmas break. Pretty much. Thanks, guys. Peace. Bye-bye. See you later. Adios. Aloha, which means hello and goodbye. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.